Hello, I'm Todd Hicks. And I'm Joe Rimmelsbach. On behalf of the Department of Plant Pathology and OTF, welcome to this week's Surf Tips. As far as the weather goes, it's a little hotter than normal, and we're experiencing these on and off again rain showers. Looks like this is going to keep up for the next 7 to 10 days, and probably add a little bit of humidity. If you don't have the humidity, it looks like we've had wind, and, and the wind's going to increase and be kind of a uh, strong enough wind, so uh, our watering needs to be carefully looked at, or you're going to dry out real easy. From a pathology view, disease-wise, dollar spot seems to be increasing. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely for us, not so much for you. Uh, here at the Church Center, we're seeing a great increase in it. On the golf course side of things, I'm hearing people starting to see flecking, normally at the end of a, a spray period, or they're seeing some breakthroughs at the 10 to 12 day on a 14 day application window. So you need to watch out and make sure your program is super strong for Dollar Spot. Other things we're still seeing, Red Thread seems to be hanging on just a little bit on the higher cut stuff. Leaf spot seems to have changed from that cool and wet to the warm and wet phase. Uh, it's still hanging on, can be troublesome for you. Starting to see anthracnose show its head on Poanya. Uh, nothing yet on bent grass from anybody out there. Uh, take all seems to be around and a little bit of summer patch on golf course side of things. Again, things to be careful on in the next five days is your watering. Uh, the rain we're getting comes fast and heavy. It's not a soaker. It's not getting down there. And even if it is, with the temps we're having and the humidity we're having and the wind we're having, it seems to be flushing right back out of the system as soon as it goes down. Uh, the other thing to consider to maybe alleviate some of the stress and get us through this uh, this period, a uh, uh, short period, I hope, of hot weather is maybe be on the phosphorite program, especially for our greens. If you're not already on a phosphorite program of some kind, they're bene very beneficial. Might think about adding that to uh, your greens program. Something else for the greens is if you open them up, something with the planted air knives, uh, sm very small um, solid tines, get them open up to de-stress them. That's going to be good for you. And I guess the final thing is watch your fertility. Don't go too lean. Many of us are finishing up uh, over folk play or um, our first big outings of the year. So we went lean and dry to get them hard and fast for our members and play. Uh, that's decreasing a little bit. And uh, so ramp up that fertilizer and make sure it's uh, well balanced. And we get these things in as best shape as we can and de-stress as much as we can. Joe, what are you saying? Well, on the lawn, on the lawn side, high cut turf, um, be careful out there with this heat. Um, there's been some reports of burn, trim burn, with especially liquid fertilizers or with granules, you have a much wider margin of uh, safety, but with liquid applications, be careful. Also, if you're doing uh, uh, herbicide applications, be very cognizant of volatilization or drift on these, especially now that people have a lot of their vegetable gardens going and flowers, um, you don't want to avoid any problems in that area. Um, other thing I want to mention is I keep seeing more and more places where people have done seeding or people have asked me about doing summer seeding. And of course we know this is a very challenging thing to do at this time of year. So just realize that you know it's a, a big uphill battle. You'll probably get something to grow, but maybe it's all weeds. Um, tenacity is a great tool to use at seeding time. Check that label out and use it. But just remember it's, it's, it's a challenging time to get a lawn established. Disease-wise on high-cut turf, the only thing I can think of, in addition to what Todd mentioned, would be brown patch. We have perfect temperatures for this. Of course, the key is watering. So where that would occur would be if you happen to get a lot of rain, most likely on over-irrigated lawns. So be cognizant of that. The golf course side, as Todd mentioned, anthracnose. We've gotten several cases in now of full-blown anthracnose basal rot it's a nasty disease and it's the hardest thing to deal with um, be aggressive on that both from the standpoint of fungicide program and management you have to get growth and recovery from the anthracnose damage another thing that's just developed kind of recently this week is uh, we've had three cases of take-all patch showing up on bent grass primarily on fairways in the last several years maybe they've had minor symptoms of this but this year it's come on real strong with this heat again remember this disease it primarily infects the crown and roots of a plant so the bent grass plants are uh, compromised the uh, vascular tissue is plugged with this fungus growing in it remember when does it grow and infect the plant it's spring and fall so it's already been infected now that it has high demands for water transport and efficiency in this heat is when you see the brown symptoms develop. 
And the symptoms can vary. Oftentimes the classic is a ring, a patch, um, but you can get streaks and small spots, etc. Um, with takeoff, if you have it, we'll be happy to look at samples. Um, as far as now, since the infection has occurred already, fungicides are not horribly effective. So what you want to do is several things to consider. You can put fungicides down, uh, such as the strobies would be the best group to look at, those labels. And um, since it's in the crown and roots, you've got to get the product down there. These only move upward. So usually the standard regime is you pre-water, you apply, and then you lightly water it in so it's in the top, say, inch of root system. Um, another thing, tool to use for take-all is applications of uh, acidifying fertilizers, such as ammonium sulfates, to slightly lower the pH. And you can get good response from this. Uh, but you have to be very careful because, you know, you have hot conditions and you have to be very careful the way these applications. So do some research to know as far as rates and, again, pre-watering and moving things in. Um, as far as uh, with take-all, you're not going to get quick recovery on these things. And again, if you have a situation where you've verified it, again, those applications, the key applications are made in spring and fall to truly manage the disease. You're just trying to mask over things at this time. Other oh, little minor things, uh, we've got a couple cases of nematodes on greens. Again, if you have a shortened or compromised poor root system, it's always a good thing to check for nematodes. That can be spotty, but it can show up. And as Todd mentioned, summer patch has shown up at least in one case. Again, with this heat, we're going to see this. So if you have samples, again, we received those at Cotman Hall. We'd be happy to look at those. And uh, lots of cooking out there in many ways. And so we wish you a good week. And if you have questions, please contact us. Make sure you know what you're talking about and what you're looking at. Um, we're seeing a lot of cases of suspected disease or economic problems, and it tends to be a poetry of dying out, puking out. That's happening a lot now. It'll happen more with this weather that we're into now. So again, make sure you know what you're looking at. If you need any help, as Joe said, contact us, call us, uh, get some help. That's it for this week. Hope you survive till next week.